Hey everyone. Okay, so I am about to fill in my nails. As you guys, if you watch my previous video, this is the set that I've been having on. I did do them myself. So keep in mind, I am live and I'm not going to be looking at the comments a whole lot because I want to give you guys a real live time frame on how long it takes for me to fill in my nails. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first thing I always do with myself and my clients, I evaluate the nails, see what's going on, looking at the size. As you can see, none of my nails are lifting. I had these on for about two weeks now. And um, I got a little chipping on the side here because gel polish. But yeah, none of my real nails are showing on the side either. So first thing I'm going to do is let's take off this old color. So the drill bit that I like to use when I'm taking off gel polish is this drill bit here. It's coarse and it's rounded at the tip. So when you're going around the cuticle, it's not damaging your nail bed or your cuticle area versus using one that's flat at the tip. So let's switch that out. Turn my drill on, which is not plugged up. Hold on, y'all. Let me plug my drill up. Tripping, tripping, tripping. Give me a second. Y'all, I'm actually filming this in my garage. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the old color off. And I need actually, my nails are long, so I actually need to trade my drill head, put it up a little more. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. So yeah, I'm gonna take the old color off. And all I'm doing is filling in and I'm going to do a new solid color. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the same color, y'all, because I really, really love this red. Also, I'm only going to do one hand because I have to go pick a mirror up from school in a second. But I was like, I've been telling you guys I'm going to film a nail video. I haven't been working on clients. So why not film a video on myself? And you see how this cuticle bit, you go around that cuticle. It's not even like, you can't even hardly feel it. So I really like it. And that any of that extra color that's around my my um cuticle area I'm going to get with the sanding bit so I'm just gonna drill this wide off I got this drill bit from trans nail design if anyone was wondering but you can always go online even Amazon to find this drill bit How's the view, you guys? Is it does is the view good or can you see very well? Is it clear? So how was everyone's Thanksgiving? Mine was a great. I cooked all the food and everything came out good, but my potato salad, <laughs> it came out so tart. I think I put way too much mustard in it, not enough potatoes, so I didn't serve it to no one. Maybe next year.
See, I got a little color under there. I'm just gonna take my drill bit and like hold it against it to get that color off that was underneath the nail. So you guys can see it's a little bit of color left around the cuticle area, but I am going to use the sanding bit and the sanding bit is going to get that off, okay? So don't worry about that. Oops, came out of you. All right. So let's dust this off, y'all. Okay. Good thing about doing the nails in my garage now versus before when I used to do nail videos at home is the smell. Like the smell is not in my house. So we ain't got to worry about that no more. Let me move my phone over a little bit so I can see the comments a little better. Okay, so um, now I'm going to take my sanding bit. I always use a new sanding bit, you guys, okay? They're cheap. Don't be too cheap to whereas you're just reusing them, all right? Sanding bits are cheap. One of the cheapest things you can buy in a nail game. And just pull the old one off, toss it, put the new one on. And I'm also going to use my cuticle pusher to kind of push my cuticles back. Any little dead skin just to help me out here. See how that dead skin is getting pushed back? Exposing it. Hey everyone, that's to I can't read it. What y'all saying in the comments? What y'all talking about? I missed it. What you laughing at? All right. Let's take that one off. Let's put this one on. All right, turn my drill speed down low because you don't need your drill speed high for that sanding bit, all right? Just pull that skin back. Sidewalls, good. Boop. All the color is gone, you guys. Nice and flush. I can't read the comments, y'all, because the way I got my phone set up, I really can't see it unless I move my head to the side. And I want to film this video in a timely manner to give y'all a realistic time frame of, you know, doing your own fill-in. 
Got a little color left over here. Just gonna drill that off. And I'm using my thumb to pull my skin back. And on this side, I'm using my pinky finger to pull the skin back. I always pull that skin back, okay? I think I always tell y'all that in my nail videos. It helps out a lot, a lot. So you can see how the drill, the sanding bit is getting that color off that I was telling you guys about. you guys yeah doing my other hand is way harder and I don't have time to actually film that for you guys because I have to pick a mirror from school in a few so now we're going to take the sanding bit off and use a cuticle bit so when I use my cuticle bit, I like to put my drill in reverse. I, f I feel that it works better that way. I'm just gonna go in there, it's gonna get any little dead skin, you guys. I feel like this is the best thing drill bit ever, especially to prevent lifting. You know, I'm good at what I do, but I still had sometimes those every now and then had that issue of my client's nails lifting for whatever reason. I find that since I've been using this, works wonders okay it's gentle we have different variations of this but i like the one with the little round ball get them 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 them, them corner little crusties in there right there gets those really good So you want to get any dust particles off of your nails, okay? You don't want nothing on there. So make sure you dust them off nice and good. So now I'm just going to prime my nails. I don't know what brand of primer this is. Um, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. But I'm just going to put the primer on the part of my natural nails. That's all you needed at. And primer does spread, like a little goes a long way, okay? So y'all know my method of um, when I do nails, I always lay down a sandwich bag, a foldable sandwich bag first for easy cleanup. And then I put my napkin on top. Okay, so I always fold it in half and place the napkin on top. So I just have clear powders on my nails. I already got my liquid monomer in here. And I am using the Instant brand acrylic powder in clear. I like it. It doesn't have any bubbles. Um, the monomer brand I'm using, I don't even know. 
I'll list all the products in the description bar of what I know the name of stuff, okay? So, anytime before I use my acrylic, I give it a little stir because sometimes it settles and it makes it stiff. So, you want to give it a little stir to kind of loosen it up. If you ever got your nails done or if you're a nail tech, it helps. If you got your nails done, you've seen people do that in the nail salon. They'll probably shake it or put their little thing in there, their finger, stir it up or whatnot. So I am using a um, Kalonsky Hair number 14 brush. And since we're doing a fill-in, you do not need a lot of product, you guys, okay? So I just place it right by my cuticle area and do a little pat in motion. Push it towards the cuticle, but not touching it. And then flatten it out. Get in them side corners. And it's an easy fill-in, okay? I always like to wipe my corners and make sure there's no little residue left in there. <laughs> Wish I had some music playing or something for you guys, but we don't want to get flagged now, do we? Add a little bit more to this one. Build that apex area back up. Since my nails are long, anytime you have a client or you have long nails, you want that apex area to be a little thick to prevent it from breaking easy. My acrylic's a little, my monomar's a little cold too. I needed to warm it up. I need a monomar warmer, actually. That'll help with the consistency of your powder and stuff. But if you have a lamp, all you have to do is take it, dip it, and then sit it under the lamp, and it'll um, warm it up. Let me move this back a little bit, you guys, so you can see the nails. I was trying to give you a view of me dipping into the powder, but you're not going to be able to see that. I fucked this nail up, y'all. That's why I look like that. So my real nail is finally growing back underneath it good. Like half of my nail lifted up. It was horrible. I was so scared if I bump it, that nail was going to fall off at one point, but it didn't. You want to get it as close to your cuticle as possible, but not touching your cuticle, okay? You get that, get the acrylic on your cuticle, you can create like a little air pocket. And when you drill, yeah, you can drill it, but it's not gonna seal it correctly. And then later on, you're gonna have lifting. So you wanna get it close to the cuticle as possible, but not on your cuticle. You don't want it touching your skin. Last one. Before color acrylic got real popular, you guys, and it was just full sets, fill-ins, gel polish. Man, I used to fly through nails. Let me tell you. Easy money. Gotta add a little bit more on this pinky, y'all. And then we done with the fill-in. All right, she's filled in. Clean my brush off. So um, I also like to put my liquid in a dapping dish to save product, um, especially when you're using colored powder, because if you put your liquid in like one of those big jars, the jar, the, the monomar can tend to turn the color that the um, powder is. And you're gonna waste it, honestly, because you can't use it again, because it'll change your next color that you're gonna use in the future as far as powder. So I put it in a dapping dish so that when I'm using colors and stuff, it doesn't change. So I'm gonna take my file and we're just gonna reshape the nails, keeping them stiletto. 
So when I'm filing, I like to make my shape start right here um, at the tip of where your nail, what is this called? This is the nail, the nail pad, where the tip of the nail pad is at. Basically, I like my shape to start taking its form from that area. Because if you try to go too narrow back here, your nails can start lifting from the side and it'll expose your real nail, okay? Also a good tip for your client. So I always try to, even when I do coffin, let the natural nail be the same, like let the sidewalls be the same shape as your natural nail and then start taking the nail form. And it'll help that, that side nail from getting exposed in the future when they grow out. And we are going stiletto. Turn this way, there we go. And any like red that I have up here, that's why I left it there because the file is going to get it off for me. We ain't got to do too much on the shaping because they're already shaped good. We're just like giving it a little touch up. We got 100 people tuned in. It's pretty good because I typically don't go live around this time. Usually go live at night. So I know a lot of people are at work right now. All right, see the difference in a new shape? It's more pointy. This is still a little rounded, so yeah. Is this sound satisfying? <laughs> I used to watch nail videos and I love it when it's like ASMRs because the sound of the filing and the drills and the tapping. I should do a nail ASMR video, huh? That'll be dope. It's no talking, just straight sound. Turn the volume up. back now let's drill so I like to use a medium sized drill bit where is she at we find it hold on there we go extra fine okay let me put that speed up oh let me plug my drill back up because my phone was about to die you that. All right. So let's turn the speed up. Pull that skin back, all right? That's too high, y'all. Go down a little bit. Okay. When you're drilling, you don't want to hold it too high, but you don't want to hold it straight either. Kind of do it at an angle. So let me try to get close in the camera for y'all. I know you finna die a battery, okay? I'm finna plug you back up. Chill out. You gotta keep reminding me, all right? Okay, so you want to hold it at an angle. So I'm trying to give you guys a good view. Uh-oh, shit. Okay. See? You don't want to touch that cuticle right behind the cuticle but not too much pressure either, okay? Yeah, there we go, 45 degree. Look at you helping me with Y'all, y'all should know by now, if you've been watching my nail videos, I'm horrible with terminology. I'm not gonna lie. I've been to school and that just didn't stick with me. So I try to explain things to the best of my ability. Um, I have a nail tech friend. She also has a YouTube page. Her name is Marley Rose. 
she's amazing with terminology and like breaking down the anatomy of a nail. Like I am not that girl. I'm sorry. Like I try to I try to explain it to her the best way I can, you know. Show you guys again. And I do not feel it on my skin. You wanna you don't wanna go apply too much pressure because then that's what's gonna cause those fire rings, those red rings and those indentions, okay? I see that? I'm still gonna leave this apex area with a little good arch, okay? See, this nail right here almost fell off, you guys. I can't believe she's still hanging on. I was worried about her. I was like, please don't let my nail fall off. Please don't let my nail fall off. And I am going to just do the same color, y'all, because I absolutely love this red. Like, it's so pretty. So I'm just going to do the same color again. Since I'm using gel polish, one thing that I do like to do is <clears throat> whatever paper bit that I used when, I mean, sanding bit that I used to earlier, I'm going to go back in with it and I'm going to go over my nails with it at a high speed so that it's not as coarse. And I'm going to go over my whole nail with it because I feel like sometimes gel polish can peel when the surface is too, too smooth. Um, this way, I also don't have to use a base, gel base. So I can just go straight into color and top coat. So I'm just gonna create like a more rough texture, but still smooth, kinda. So you have to have the speed up high if you wanna use this method. It's not professional. Mm. 
All right, let's remove any dusties. Let's plug my phone back up for a die too. Lord have mercy. It's a little janky video, ain't it? All right, get this out the way. Guys, we are filled in. Here are my nails. Filled in. I like them just like this. Put some clear on. Okay, but we need some color. All right, so I do not feel like going back in the house to get that gel light. We're going to use this guy right here. This company called Marquette actually sent me this, and we're going to use it for our color. So the red that you guys see on my nails, when I tell you, it's, I ain't going to lie. This used to be my holy grail red right here. I used to love me some old OPI Big Apple Red. And OPI Big Apple Red, I still love you, okay? All right. But this is by Madam Glam, and it's called Perfect Red, and it's literally the perfect red. Let me show you guys the difference between OPI Big Apple Red and the perfect red because a lot of people are familiar with OPI's color. So... All right, so here, let me move this so you can put the actual true feel of what it looks like, okay? So here's OPI's big app. I mean, here's Madam Glam. I'm going to paint her first. She's so opaque. Like, look at that. I'll literally have this on my toes in one coat, okay? That's Madam Glam. Let's get OPI. I still love you, OPI Big Apple, but as you guys can tell, Madam Glam is way more red than OPI's Big Apple. Like, look at that. Like, it's red. OPI's Big Apple has that a more darker tint to it. This is way more bright, like a red. So, yeah. We're going to use Madam Glam. I think I'm going to do OPI's Big Apple Red closer to Christmas time. Because I've been feeling this red on my long stiletto nails. All right, so let's paint, you guys. I always do my thumb last. They sent me a few colors, but this color here is hands down my favorite. Now this is satisfying. I just looked in the camera to see what you see. Ooh, ooh, Madam Glam, y'all did that, honey. Okay. Show you guys my new favorite top coat that I've been using too. Bomb as fuck. You need to get it. My alarm just went off to pick a mirror, you guys. So I have to finish this up. Go get my baby. I'm shaking. <laughs> 
Can y'all see me shaking on the camera? I hate polishing my own nails. I ain't gonna lie, that shit is hard. Especially you want to, if you want it to look like clean, you know. you guys you plug this up boop uh oh okay so yeah we're gonna let that dry so I have to go y'all but let me show you the top coat that I've been using it's this one by Chloe Professional Nails Super Shiny Top Coat No Cleanse V2. Oh my God, it's amazing. Like it's so, so, so shiny. If you guys wanna try a new top coat, you definitely should try it before that. I was using the Gel Elixir, which is great too. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop using that, but this really, really is shiny like i really 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 like it so you guys should definitely try this look it up let you guys get a closer look so you can go look it up okay all my little nail techs and nail enthusiasts out there amazing top coat all right that cured a little bit i'm gonna go back in do one more coat and we gotta go pick a mirror up okay There's that. Look at that. Oh my God. This red is so fucking bomb. Like, jeez. Madam Glam, y'all did that. Shout out to Madam Glam. And the formula is so thick. It's a good thick though. The coverage is great. I have acrylic on all my toes. And I literally only did one coat of this on my toes. And... It looks so good. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, it didn't mess up. And Bay likes it too. Hey, you guys, it's not super, super perfect because I slick rushed that, but it's okay. You get the, the concept, okay? Next, we're going to go in with the top coat by Chloe. I feel like this video should have been like 25 minutes if I didn't have to keep unplugging shit, plugging it back up or whatnot, but it's okay. <laughs> I am not finna paint my thumb right now because I have to go. <laughs> I'm just finna top coat and leave out, okay? So you guys get the picture though. I'm sorry. I just moved my hand back because this gel light is small. And I want to get make sure it gets the tip of my nails too. This company called Marquette sent me this um this is supposed to, this little light is supposed to be for poly gel, which I do not like. Ugh, do not like it. I tried it, don't like it. All right, look at this top coat, y'all, before we go, okay? And I'm actually almost out. I need to get some more. Like, it's so shiny.
When I wrote the caption for this video, the nail time, I thought about Blue's Clues. Y'all remember when they used to be like, mail time, mail time. That's what I thought about. I just did that so sloppy. OMG. All right, y'all. Look how shiny that is. Like, jeez. We are done, honey. Come on, let's cure. <gasps> nail time, nail time, nail time, nail time, nail time. Here's my nails. They never fail. All right, you guys. I'm going to give it about 30 seconds on the, t the bottom half of my nails, and I'm going to move my hand down. And, okay, I, guys, I can see the comments, but the way I have my phone on my tripod, the clip is covering the comments. So I really can't see what you're saying. And my cuticle oil is upstairs, so I can't even put no cuticle oil on my nails right now. But I will, um, if you have any questions or anything, once the video posts, just go into the, 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 the comment section and drop the comment there, okay? And I will respond to your comments. And we just finna neglect the thumb today, all right? But yeah, so I gotta tackle this one when I get back. This is my opposite hand. For me to do it on myself, I think I did a pretty damn good job. They're a little lumpy. You can see some lumps in there. But, and the cuticles aren't that clean. I'm going to give y'all some real raw footage here. I really fucked this one up in the corner, but it's okay. But, yeah, this is the opposite hand. From far away, though, you can't tell. It look good. All right, you guys. Here's the finished product of my fill-in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye.